everyone, I'm Monique and I'm delighted to be back with a new layout for Pear Tree Cut Files. I've used the Happiness Right Here Cut File as my title and the beautiful stitched sun rays for my background. Here's a quick peek at all those holes from the stitched sun rays, but I'm not going to stitch them just yet. I'm going to be doing a bit of inking in the background. So I've got three shades of Distress Ink. I'll link up the colors for you below and I'm just swiping them across my background. So I go from a yellow to like an orangey coral color to a lovely bright pink and then I'm coming in with my water um, on my paintbrush and I'm just kind of blending in some of those colors together. I'm not wetting the whole background. I want to see some of those streaks so they look like sun rays um, beating down um, but I do want a bit of a watercolor effect. I have used a sheet of Vicky Booten's foundations paper um, which takes mixed media really really well and um, it helps minimize the warp and um, it handles water being added to the paper quite nicely. So I've also got some shimmers sprays and I'm just adding those in. Now now, um, for some of the sprays, I'm spraying quite closely um, to the paper, which gives a more intense um, spray. Um, I do in a little bit, although it's not on camera, I spray a little halo of yellow around the ends of those sun rays. You'll see in the close-ups. Um, so I held the spray quite far away and that gives a lovely fine mist. You can see it there along in the whiter area of the, the pattern paper. But I just love how this turned out. I love where you can see some of the streaks and there's a few splatters there and you can see some of the mist from the spray but then also that lovely water color effect where I've added the water. Now it's time to do some stitching. So I've chosen some lovely yellow thread and three shades of sequins and I've done a chain stitch. So I've added a sequin on every second chain stitch and it just adds such a lovely shimmer and I'm going to show you how to do chain stitch in just a moment. So I've taken my yellow embroidery thread and I've divided it in half half so that I'm working with a piece of thread that has three little thin strands of embroidery thread and I've just threaded my needle and I'm adding some knots to the end so that it doesn't pull through when I'm starting my stitch. So <clears throat> I'm going to go into the first hole in one of those sun rays. I'm coming in through the back and I'm pulling my needle forward. Now I do just, um, I take my needle here underneath the stitches that are already there so I'm in the right place. Now I'm going to be going back into that same hole and I'm going to create a loop. So I'm not going to pull the thread through entirely so you can see that little loop there. And then I'm going to go through the back but one stitch ahead. So I'm going to go into the next stitch from the back and I'm going to take that needle through into the middle of that loop and then pull it. And that creates my first chain. Now on the first stitch I don't add a sequin but on my second stitch I'm going to. So now is the time to add the sequin. I'm starting off with yellow. I'm kind of following the colors that I've created with that mixed media background. So I do yellow first, going into the orangey coral and then going into the pink. I've got various different sized sequins. I'm not choosing any specific size in particular, so it's a real random mix, but I love that imperfection of all the different sizes kind of mixed together. So I've added in one sequin there and I'm going back into the same hole and creating a loop before coming back in through the back into the next hole and then making sure that my needle comes through into the middle of my loop and then pulling it through to create my chain. Now the next stitch is going to be a plain chain stitch and then the stitch after that is going to have a sequin and I'm going to continue that all the way to the end going through all the colors until I've finished. So this is a bit of a painstaking process, probably not something to do if you don't enjoy stitching but I do enjoy all these fiddly kinds of things and um, I love um, keeping my hands busy when I'm watching TV. I don't often just sit and watch, I like to be doing something as well. So this is my favorite kind of thing to be doing when I'm relaxing, watching a program in the evening. I never thought in the wildest dream I'd see you again Never dreamed about nothing else other than you I always thought I'd be waiting That is all my stitching complete. I won't lie, it did take quite some time, but I'm really, really happy with um, 
all those shimmery sequins. Now I've got this beautiful title piece, um, Happiness Right Here. It's from this month's release from Petri Cut Files. And I've cut it out with my Silhouette Cameo and I've not cut it out too big. I really want that sun burst in the background to have a lot of room to shine. So I've kept my title um, quite modest and I've cut it out twice, once using like a pinky coral pattern paper um, and then once I've cut it out with like a blue pattern paper just to add some contrast and I'm going to be raising those letters up. I've got this, these lovely thin strips of um, foam adhesive from scrapbook.com and they are so perfect for backing cut files. I've been looking for um, a solution to backing cut files because I usually use a million little foam squares and it takes me forever. So this is a great alternative. I'll link it up for you below. Um, I have just gently distressed um, each of those alpha um, edges um, just for a little bit of texture. I've not um, gone a bit too crazy with the, the distressing, um, just enough to add a little bit of extra texture. Now I've got this 6x6 six six, um, paper pad from Rosie's Studio and um, this collection is called Soul Shine and I chose these two pattern papers because they just tied in so beautifully with the colours of the background. So I've cut two um, pieces and just slightly offset them, stuck them down and I'm going to be raising my photo up with some craft foam um, just so that it sits on top of those, those lovely sun rays and I'm going to be tucking that in there and layering my title on top. Now, um, the part of the cut file that's going to be sitting on the photo, I'm just adding some adhesive to that part. It's going to sit directly on the photo. And then the rest of the cut file, again, I'm coming in with these um, strips of um, foam adhesive. And that's just to raise the title up so that it's in line with the photo. Now, I've got um, a lovely set of ephemera pieces, again, from Rosie Studio's Soul Shine collection. And so many of the pieces from this ephemera a pack just tying in so beautifully with the background and the feeling of this page so it just works beautifully I love that little piece it says there is sunshine in my soul and um, it was just perfect for capturing this holiday memory so I've got these lovely little leaves and I'm just going in and building around my photo um, before I stuck everything down, as I always do, <laughs> I placed all the pieces on my page and then I took everything off um, before sticking it down. So I've not bored you by including that. If you would like to see me <laughs> place everything and then take it off again, um, like I usually do in my my other videos please let me know and I will include that in future videos but when I was editing this I thought oh you don't need to see me placing it 50 million times all in the same place um, so I edited that bit out um, but do let me know if you if you like seeing me <laughs> do the same thing over and over um, I've added a lovely little um, perspective from Bramble Fox it says summer and I love how it just changes my title slightly to say um, summer happiness right here now I've added that cute ice cream truck in and I'm going to add a little ice cream cone in too and um, you wouldn't know from the photo but it just ties in with the memory beautifully because when we were on holiday um, we said we were going to have an ice cream every single day of our week away so um, we'd actually just eaten an ice cream before we took this photo so um, while you can't see an ice cream in the photo the the little ephemera pieces just tie in beautifully with the memory and these florals and leaves just add a lovely extra burst of color to the page. Now you'll see that um, some of the items I'm distressing and some I'm not. Um, that's partly because I'd stuck some of them down and then thought I'll just be leaving glue everywhere if I try and take them off to distress. So what I've done is the ephemera pieces um, that are not flowers, so the little wood piece and the ice cream truck and the ice cream um, those I've distressed the edges as well as the ephemera pieces that have white halos around them. So the florals and the leaves that do not have a white border around them, those are not distressed. So in my mind that makes sense. <laughs> um, but I know a lot of people, if you um, distress one thing, you like to distress it all. I'm not too, too worried to be honest, but I do love the little bit of texture that the extra distressing gives to the page.
So there, I think I'm done. I'm now just going to be adding um, some lovely sparkle to that ice cream using Nouveau Glimmer Paste in color Moonstone. I love that. And now I've got some gorgeous pops of color again from scrapbook.com this color is called champagne and i'm just adding it to the flowers that have gold accents on them and it just adds a lovely extra bit of sparkle now i've got these beautiful pear tree pieces some lovely sparkly hearts i've got them in three shades of color there and i'm just making a triangle around my photos there and adding some extra sparkle now, this is my last bit of mixed media, I think. <laughs> These are, this is a lovely liquid watercolor from Campella, and it's in the color Pina Colada, and I love Campella watercolors, and this just is a great way to add splatters, um, and the, the shimmer is just beautiful. So I'm loving working with that. Now I'm coming in with the lemon chiffon pops of color, and just adding a few little um, dots um, in clusters around around my photo and embellishment cluster and just for a little bit of extra very subtle subtle detail and that is my layout complete thank you so much for stopping by today and watching me as i create this page using some lovely pear tree cut files they're all available in the pear tree cut files online store i've linked both cut files along with the beautiful heart pear tree pieces for you below if you've enjoyed this video i'd be so grateful if you subscribed to my channel you can also find me on instagram at handmade happy by monique please do drop me a comment below i would love to hear from you Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye. I so much better whenever you're around. I want to say something.